Jeremy Steinman. I'm so excited that you're with me here on the Vingresso Customer Testimonial. Uh, thank you so much for joining me from the New York Jets Stadium with the NFL. I'm excited to have you with me, my friend. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mar. I really appreciate the time. Absolutely. So uh, I'm invited you here because you are a graduate of our digital sales training program, both for our social selling as well as our uh, digital video program. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you've been having some pretty good success lately with uh, leveraging video. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, really helped uh, take my game to the next level in terms of connecting with prospects as well as kind of growing my network socially on LinkedIn. I love it. So I want to talk about a couple different examples. Now you went through our social selling uh, training program, our uh, one day and our digital sales video program. Um, and you also have the tool OneMob as well, which is for video engagement. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you were doing prior to going through our training programs and how you were engaging with your prospects. So prior to um, the the training, I was utilizing LinkedIn as kind of like my guide, like just kind of learning about the prospect, but there's not as much as connecting with. So after the training program, it really kind of pushed me to, you know, to make sure that not only am I utilizing it as a method to gain information about my prospects, but I also am taking the time to connect with them and kind of utilizing it as another opportunity to connect on maybe more of a friendlier front than, you know, a, you know, a cold call or just a, you know, a cold outreach via email. This way they have an opportunity to see my face. They can learn a little bit about myself while I also can learn a little bit about them. It kind of makes it a little bit of an easier introduction. Gotcha. And the folks that you traditionally sell to, VPs of sales, marketing, COO, CEO, CXOs? Yeah, generally I'm, I'm going with uh, top uh, executives at firms. Um, I work in the New York Jets Premium Partnerships Department here. So we're primarily working with businesses from their hospitality and client entertainment side of things, you know, helping them utilize some of our VIP experiences here to kind of push things from a business development standpoint and uh, hopefully grow some brand awareness and retain some clients as well as increase sales. Nice. Okay. So prior to our training, you were utilizing LinkedIn, but primarily as a research tool, correct? Correct. And uh, then you um, actually uh, uh, received the OneMob application, which I love. It's a fantastic tool. And uh, you were kind of dabbling with uh, leveraging OneMob as a methodology to connect with buyers. Is that right? Yeah, you know, correct. So my initial, you know, it kind of is like, you know, practice makes perfect type of deal. You know, you send a couple out and you kind of see what works, doesn't work. Um, but it's been a lot of fun using one mob. I've really enjoyed the experience. Okay. So then uh, you were using this, you had the product training by our friends at one mob. And then uh, we came in uh, at Vangresso and we did your um, social selling training along with your digital sales training. And you've been actually merging these two worlds together with actually taking the video content and publishing it on social, and you've been using it for one-to-one -one messaging uh, and been getting some great results. There was a specific story that you told me, which I'm, I'm interested in hearing about, and that was uh, the story of, a, of an old contact that went stale, and you sent out a one-mob video after the skill set training that we provided to you. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So I had a contact that you know had to not get a hold of. I emailed a couple times, call nothing, but what I did was I sent him a one mob. And what's great about one mob is that you could personalize it, so you could you know put in their subject line, their name, in their in the email, you know you whatever you want to do. You could really personalize it and send a you know personalized video message to that person. So uh, this was by doing that. This was the first time I actually elicited a response from from this gentleman. And, you know, as a result of me taking the time and effort to record something for him, he actually reached out and, you know, returned. And now we have a follow-up conversation set, which is, you know, in, in my line of work, always the greatest thing. And, you know, take the next step and always try to follow that the next follow-up activity. So it's always nice to, you know, be uh, doing that. And one mob really helped push the envelope for me and my ability to get that next follow-up. Now in the product training, you were, you, you started using this a little bit. And then you, after the skill set training that we provided to you on how to actually engage with video, you changed a couple things, including your structure of what you say in the subject line. What was the one tweak that anybody watching this you, that you, you, you shared with me on how they could tweak their subject line just to even get better engagement? 
Right. So if you're doing like a large scale campaign and you want to send a video blast out to, you know, 10, 20, 30, 100 people, you know, it doesn't matter. What's great about OneMob is that if you take the time to uh, put that contact information over into an Excel spreadsheet, OneMob actually will take that person's first, first name and implement it into the subject line. So instead of saying like video message for Joe Fan, you know, it would say like, it will say Joe. Like it won't say just like for you, it'll say for Joe, which is, you know, great. Um, so, you know, just in, it's in, you know, New York Jets, all of a sudden says New York Jets video for Joe. Of course, I'm going to open that, you know, it's, this is, this is the NFL, you know, who, you know, what is the New York Jets doing contacting me specifically versus something just like, you know, very generic, which might not move the needle as much taking the time to, uh, you know, personalize that message. Even, you know, I found the back end, it's a, you know, there's a video you sent out to hundred people by taking the time to add those contacts and, and, and and implement their first name into the subject line really changed the game for me and you know really uh, took off in terms of the viewing of my emails and open rate. Awesome. So personalized messaging with personalized titles or subject lines uh, got you a point an appointment that you weren't otherwise able to book through the traditional methodologies that you're using, which was email and phone prospecting. So that's fantastic. Then you took it uh, another step uh, after going through the training program listening to both how to create social engagement through our social selling training. And you took the skill set training, then the mindset training on video, and you married this world together, which was freaking awesome. And the results have been pretty impressive. What, I, what I've seen uh, you do, we've got a video that you posted, which was you standing on the field. Is that right? Yeah, I was standing in the New York Jets end zone and, you know, Again, another great opportunity about utilizing the video is that you really have the opportunity to number one, they get to see you um, and you know, that just goes so far, you know, the one-to-one -one, face to face, it's kind of, you know, dead and sometimes like in this, you know, just text quick, you know, response, it doesn't, it kind of takes the personalized uh, element out of a lot of these, you know, conversations that we have. So the video kind of brought that back into, you know, the picture and what it also allowed me to do is allow the uh, prospect to visualize, you know, firsthand what they might be experiencing. And I was able to kind of describe that, you know, while standing on the New York Jets end zone, like, hey, this could be something, this could be what you're doing. And now they get to visualize instead of just having in a couple like long paragraphs via email or an initial like cold call outreach where they just don't have the time. Now they get, they take the time to listen. Now they get to picture it themselves and how they could, you know, in turn utilize it uh, in their business. So modern marketing techniques being used by a modern salesperson. I love it. Uh, and prior to that, my guess is, is that prior to the training for social selling training and, and, and the digital sales training, you weren't utilizing any type of content sharing or video sharing uh, to help people visualize what it is they can, they, that you yeah. actually provide, right? Yeah, that's correct. It really kind of jump started me and, you know, my train of thought and how to, you know, expand uh, these types of outreaches and, you know, just kind of utilizing the platforms that are just right in front of us. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, taking the time to, you know, take it's a step out of your comfort zone and you know, put something out there, you know, for everyone to see. Awesome. And uh, you posted a video. It's got a ton of likes and a ton of comments. And what did you learn from the training on what to do with those likes and comments? So, so I started connecting with all the people that were interacting with my video. So whether these people were uh, professionals in the sports industry or potential prospects for me, regardless, they were showing interest in my video. So I want to take the time to show interest in them. So whether that be learning from them and what they're doing in their network to advance them themselves on the professional sports and sales point of view, or as well as, you know, on the prospecting side of things, um, maybe advancing the conversation and seeing, you know, if the New York Jets may be a fit for their business. And if it's not for their business, Business, maybe it's something for someone else in their network and LinkedIn is this great opportunity and platform to gain access to all the contacts that they know. So whether it be for professional development or, um, you know, my own personal prospecting here, regardless has been extremely beneficial. I love it. Fantastic. And uh, do me a favor. Uh, if someone wants to get a hold of you, they want to have their next event, host their next opportunity, host the, uh, the next client relationship building opportunity at your stadium. How can they get a hold of you, Jeremy? Well, there's a number of ways you can do it. You can just give me a call directly. You can reach out to me via LinkedIn, or you can shoot me an email. I am, you know, extremely flexible. I'm always, you know, on the phone and I'm always connecting. So please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jeremy Steinman. Uh, my direct line is 973-549-4884. And my email address is jsteinman at jets.nfl.com. All right, let's say that phone number a little bit slower. One more time. 
and your email. Spell it out. It's J S T E I N M A N at Jets J E T S dot NFL dot com. Fantastic. So I highly recommend. We're gonna be we are gonna be working with the Jets as well and uh, hosting an event out in their neck of the woods. So I highly recommend that y'all reach out to uh, my boy Jeremy. And uh, he's doing a fantastic job in terms of growing sales and turning into a modern seller. Jeremy, thank you for joining me on this uh, episode. I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to uh, join us on this client testimonial. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Mario. All right. Take care, buddy. All right. You too.